Hello friends. In this video, we'll show a tutorial of Trello, a beginner's guide. And Trello is a beautiful software that can be used for project management of any kind. It can be a science project, it can be your business, or it can be a full-fledged agile or scrum software development mode for which is the main purpose that we have been using it. And we like the software so much because it's free and it offers tremendous functionalities that can be used for businesses of any scale or projects of any scale. And this is a beginner's guide for somebody who's getting started and will cover all the main features in this short video. So the first thing that one has to do in Trello is form a team. So if you click on the plus icon at the top, we can create a team. And this is just a way to get organized. So say we call here science project one. Let's say a company is called science and we're doing project one. And for team, we are saying it's engineering IT. And for team description, it's just a few words about what the team does. And this is optional. So for instance, we can say um, the next big, the next big IT solution, or it can be science, science project for final year, final year thesis. And then we click on continue. After that, Trello prompts us to add any team members, which we can add here, or we can also add later once we create more things in this Trello tutorial. So for now, we'll do, I'll do this later as this option can always be done later. And we can add team members at any point in time. So that is not a restricting feature. So for now we'll do, I'll do this later. After doing this, Trello opens this presentation where we can see the name of the project, the description, and even the description can be edited. So if you do edit team, then you can just edit what were we wrote before. But let's move on to the important feature here, which is to create a board. So we click on plus and we do create a board. And a board is the most important organizational tool of Trello. It's where everything is listed and organized. So over here, we do create a board and then it says board name. So we can say project one uh, high priority, just for example. And then there's an option for team visible, which we'll discuss later. And also which, which actual team it is for, which is in this case, since we only have science one, so we can just say science one project. And we do create board. And then Trello creates this visual representation of a board which we'll see quickly will become very useful and we'll cover all these features later. So first, everything in Trello is organized as list. So one recommendation here is we can have a to-do list, which are things that still have to be done. We can have a list called in progress to track what's in progress and we can have a list called completed to track what has already been completed. Now, in to-do, we can break down the tasks that we need to do. For instance, we can say post on social media. This is one example. Second example can be that like deploy, deploy software. Third can be inform, inform stakeholders that if you have, if you have multiple, multiple stakeholders. Now, even so now just just correcting the spelling here. Now, apart from the description, the main, I mean the main title, we can also write descriptions. For instance, inform Jack about, about recent funding. And uh, that, that can be one, inform sales team about recent sales close, right? If you're the head of sales, you, you might want to update your team and you save it. Now the important part to note here is that Trello also brings tremendous accountability. So for members, once you've added people, you can just assign it to a specific member. And if this is a task that has to be done by a particular date, we can put here a due date. In this case, like say 16th of Feb. Now over here, we see that in our example, we have a start date appearing, which if it's not appearing in your board, then we can talk about it in a subsequent video, how we got this to appear. And now what we have done is that we have a description, a due date, and who the task is assigned to. And this is important because it answers two 
critical questions of project management is who is doing it and by when it needs to be done. And the third thing is what needs to be done. And another thing to note is that Trello records exactly who made the changes, like who added this card, who joined the card, so on. Now say if this task is to be started tomorrow, then you can move it from inform stakeholders to in progress. And when you click on the card, it shows that this card has been moved to in progress. So you know that the team has already started working on it. And you can put a label here, like any label that you define, it says like say on track, right? So like if I, if I do a create new label and I say on track, and do create, that way you know that this is on track and then if it's not on track, somebody can update accordingly. And this gives a wonderful view of the stage of this particular issue as well. And once the issue is done, then we can also move it to say completed. Apart from this, now we'll go back to the team visible thing I've talked about, which is here. And if it's in team mode, then all members of this team can view and edit this board. If it's in public, then anyone on the internet, including Google can see the board, but only board members can edit. And if it's private, then only board members can see and edit this board. So this is team level visibility and this is private. Usually team works and that's the recommended because everybody in the team can see the project. And over here, we see an option for invite. So this is what we talked about earlier that if you want to invite anybody of a team to this board, you can just send here. He or she will get a link, an automated email, which he or she can use to onboard. And there's an option also for create link, which can be used because what this will do is that it will create a link, a copy link, which you can directly email to your teammate using your email or your company's email and ensure that they get it. So now like, and, and obviously you can directly add something in progress, like later on, if you want to add like update, update Twitter, for instance, or let's say update LinkedIn, with uh, with the sales press release you can create it you can just go there quickly assign it to somebody and then like for now just assign it to somebody and then put a date and that kind of solves the issue now over here we you see that there's a trello card number which we will show in the subsequent video how we can get this and um, that video will link to the end, end screen of this and as you can see here, Trello is showing the date when this is due. So it gives a very good view of what needs to be done and what is done. And you can also see the on track or if it's late status over here. So in this tutorial, we have covered the basics of Trello. In the future tutorials, we'll cover important things like what is a power up and how can we search cards, etc. So stay tuned and if this video helped you, please subscribe because that really helps us ensure that YouTube can show our videos to other people if you find it helpful. So thanks a lot for watching.